You probably think helicopters can take off vertically and hover just because their blades spin faster or slower, right? Wrong. The rotor actually spins at a constant speed. Whether it's taking off, landing, or just hanging in midair, it all comes down to changing the pitch, the angle of the blades. When air moves across the rotor, the flow on top is faster than the flow underneath. That difference creates pressure, and that pressure creates lift. The steeper the blades pitch, the greater the pressure difference, the stronger the lift. That's how a helicopter shoots straight up. Reduce the pitch, the lift drops, and the chopper comes down. All of this magic happens through one core system, the swash plate. It's made up of two discs, one fixed, one rotating. When the pilot moves the control stick, the fixed plate tilts or shifts up and down, passing that motion to the rotating plate, which changes the blade angle as it spins. That's how the pilot controls lift and direction, climbing, descending, or even hovering in place. But here's the catch. When the main rotor spins, it creates torque, trying to spin the entire fuselage the opposite way. To solve that, engineers added a tail rotor. It cancels out the torque to keep the helicopter stable. And by adjusting its blade pitch, the pilot can swing the helicopter's nose left or right. So the reason helicopters are so agile isn't because the blades spin faster. It's because engineers figured out how to turn air itself into lift. That's real genius in motion.